brought to you by Poster Fix. Howdy, everybody. This is Leo Claudio with Mellis Stewart and We're here at Jerry Park in Montreal today, and it's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest one of the outstanding pitchers in Major League Baseball, formerly with the Detroit Tigers, now with the Atlanta Braves of the National League. I'd like to welcome to our show Joe Necro. Welcome, Joe. Thank you, Leo. Joe, it's certainly nice seeing you here today. Last time I had the pleasure of seeing you, I think it was in Detroit and then in Boston. Joe, you're with the Braves now. You've joined your big brother, Phil. How does it seem? Well, it feels very great. I always wanted to you know, playing the same team with Phil, and it finally did happen. We was very happy about it, and I just hope I can help the ball club in some way. No, you're still very much in your 20s. 28 right now. So you look 19. Well, thank you. You must be the baby of the family. Yes, I am. Well, I have a sister that's uh, 30, I think 37, and my brother Phil's 34, and I'm 28. You and uh, Phil, uh, Joe, have had quite a career in Major League Baseball, which is a rarity to have two brothers uh, become pitchers. Well, yes, it's, you know, we're both fortunate. We, you know, we got we got to play Major League Baseball, sign a baseball contract, and uh, I think Phil had a little tougher road to hoe than I did because he was in the minor leagues I think for six years, and I got a good break with the Chicago Cubs. You know, after signing one year, and I went to spring training in 1967 and stuck with the club. So I was very fortunate. You know, only playing uh, minor league baseball for two months. You, how much time did you spend with the Detroit Tigers, Joe? I was with Detroit for three years. I went there in 1970, uh, 71, and 72, and part of this year. Did you miss the pennant? You just did miss the pennant. The last time they were in the pennant, what was it, 68? It was 68, yeah. Well, last year we won a playoff. I mean, uh, we got into the playoffs and we lost out to Oakland. <clears throat> and um, hoping maybe next year we can down south, take it down south next year. Well, you very well could, uh, because this ball club that you're playing with now, those Atlanta Braves, uh, you never know. Anybody can get up and knock that ball over the wall, isn't that so? Well, that's true. They have a really uh, very, very strong team. We've got a lot of guys who get the ball out of the ballpark, and they're very explosive and on, on this road trip. There's like the other day in Chicago, we was getting beat two nothing in the seventh inning with two outs and three and two on a hitter, and we scored nine runs. So it just you know it's unpredictable when they break loose. You have three fellows on that ball club because that number 44 is something else. I'm referring to Hank Aaron. Then you have Darrell Evans, and now you've got Dave Johnson that has learned to hit that ball out of the ballpark in Atlanta, which is tremendous. It is. Well, Atlanta's a good park to hit in the ball carries well there, and you got the guys like that you know can hit the ball in the air, and if you hit the ball in the air, it's got a chance to go out. That ballpark in Atlanta has to be one of the finest in the majors. It's a very nice ballpark. You know, it's it's not a pitcher's ballpark. It's more or less a hitter's ballpark, and uh, it's uh, not the fences are fairly short and got a hard infield. So you know, if you hit something on the ground, it's got a chance to go through. If you hit something in the air, it's got a chance to go out. You haven't had too much luck in playing in a hitter's ballpark. I mean, in a pitcher's ballpark. That Detroit ballpark is a hitter's ballpark. Oh, well, definitely. We got a, a short right field porch, and uh, uh, it's only I think 320 down line. Left field is 340, I think. If you keep, keep the ball away from guys and you just let them try to pull the ball, and it's, I think it's 420 to center field, so it makes up for it in center field. Joey, for the time that you've spent in the National League so far, in comparison to the American League, do you find much difference? I think the National League's stronger. More down through the lineups, they're stronger. You take your, you know, your sixth, seventh, eighth hitters, I think you've got more power and you got more depth on the bench, and I think they run more over here, hit and run more, and I think they play the game a little bit more aggressive, too. Joey, it certainly has been a pleasure talking to you here in Jerry Park in Montreal today, and I want to take this occasion to wish you and the Braves a World Series championship soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. This is an interview with Joe Necro, one of the outstanding youngsters, young pitchers with the Atlanta Braves, and this brings us to the end of with Malice Stewart and for today. Until tomorrow at the same time, from Jerry Park in Montreal, Leo Claudia, good day. Brought to you by Poster Fix, offering poster restoration and linen backing for 40 years. At Poster Fix, we bring your vintage posters back to life. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more classic sports interviews from Leo Cloutier with Malice Toward None.